So the first fix that I actually have for you guys is to update your display drivers or your graphics card drivers. So to do that, what you guys are going to want to do is go down to the search bar and type in GeForce Experience. Now, once the app actually opens, just go to drivers and then you guys should see a GeForce game ready driver here ready to download. Now, if you don't, then that means that your drivers are already up to date. But if you do have this driver, just press download. Now your screen might go black. That's totally normal. Once you're done updating your drivers, what you guys should also do is restart your PC. And then once you're done restarting your PC, come back to this video. So the next fix that I actually have for you guys is to make sure that your Windows 10 is updated as well. It's always good to have Windows 10 up to date so your operating system is running as fast as possible. So what you guys are going to do to update Windows 10 or to even check for updates is to go down to the search and type check for updates. And then press enter and then this window should open now just check and see if you have anything to download and install so like here this is what i have to install for my operating system but for you guys it might be something different so just make sure that everything is downloaded and you have everything installed and then also make sure that it says at the top that you're up to date so next what you guys can do is actually try running your games in windowed mode now there have been a lot of videos saying that running your your games in full screen mode is the best for FPS and stuff like that. But what you guys can actually do is try playing in window mode and see if your game still crashes. It never hurts to try and just run your game in window mode to see if it actually works. So next, what you guys can do is check your Windows Defender settings. Now, Windows Defender might actually be blocking some parts of the game and making it crash whenever you start up or you load into a match. So what you guys are going to do is press Windows and I, and this is going to open your settings. Once the settings tab is open, go to update and security, just click on it. So on the left hand side, you guys should see Windows security, just press on it and then press open Windows security. Navigate to virus threat and protection, press manage settings under virus and threat protection settings scroll down until you see exclusions and press add or remove exclusions press add an exclusion and then press file and then now just find where your fortnite game is located so for me it's under program files epic games fortnite fortnite game binaries win 64 then you guys should see your four Fortnite files so what you guys are going to do is do the same thing for all four files so for the first one, press open and then a prompt is going to pop up. Just press yes. And then that's the first one added. So just repeat the same process for all four. So once you guys have all four added, the next step is just to go back to the other page and disable real time protection. Just untick that a prompt will pop up. Just press yes. And then you're good. Now, the next thing that you guys can do to fix this problem is to remove any overclock settings that you put on your graphics card. Many people tend to overclock their hardware in order to get better frames or better performance in games. However, some people might go a little too far, making their overclock settings unstable. So what you guys can do is just remove any overclock settings you have on your graphics card and see this might be one of the main reasons on why your game is crashing i know my game was crashing because of the unstable overclock that i put on my graphics card so once again just remove any overclock settings you have on your graphics card so next what you guys can do is actually go back to the default version of the game user settings for fortnite maybe when you were in the game user settings you changed a setting that you weren't supposed to and that's the reason why your game is crashing so basically what we're doing is just resetting the game user settings settings so just press windows and r at the same time this run window should open just type in percent local app data percent and press ok now this folder should open go to fortnite game saved config windows client and you guys should see a game user settings file in this folder what you guys are going to do is just right click on it and press delete and make sure your folder is empty so once that's done just open fortnite and it's going to create a new game user settings file for you so once your game opens you guys should see a new game user settings file in the folder this is going to be the default game user settings that comes with fortnite so this prompt is going to pop up you can either press confirm or decline basically what it's doing 
doing is it's going to find the best settings for your system nine times out of ten it's going to just set everything to high <laughs> so you can either press confirm or decline it's your choice but i'm going to press decline and there you go so that's going to be it for today's video i've made other videos just showing you guys how to fix certain things when it comes to fortnite if you guys are interested in those videos then check the eye in the top right corner it's been your boy zire and i'm out peace